Well, hello there, everybody, and welcome to Combat Directive Napoleon. We were just talking about Napoleonic War Games in a previous video, and this new one totally slipped uh, my eyes. We're now taking a look at it, and I can't wait to see how it holds up against the others. I would ask you to please hit that subscribe button, leave a comment below, and like the video. We're really trying to grow this channel, and I've been doing this for over a decade. Uh, I finally decided to really give it a full-time focus, so that really helps us out. That being said, let's jump right in to a new game so you guys get a sort of a look at what you can expect here in Combat Directive. Now, it looks like we're going to be starting with the Russian-Prussian-French War of 1806-1807. Man, that really rolls off the tongue, doesn't it? In any case, let's jump in and see what the game has to offer. Looks like our first meeting is going to be at Sokoshin Kolozom. I'm probably butchering that, but I want to make sure to fight for the French army. And I like that the game gives you a selection and it really allows you to choose which side you would like to fight for, whether it's going to be the Fourth Coalition or whether it's going to be Napoleon and his troops. So the first part of the actual game itself um, is just kind of reviewing the battlefield. It does have a board game approach, and in fact, you can even see like the tables off in the distance, which, I mean, it's not for everybody. I really like it, honestly. Um, obviously, we're playing with the Napoleonic troops over here, and once we're ready, we want to start the battle. We're not working with a lot, but hopefully, in this first meeting, we can get a victory. And there we go. The volleys commence. Gotta love that sound. in the middle of a river, not the best place to be. All right, guys, so we are going to begin to advance. Now, I see the Jaegers there in the woods. They're going to cause us some trouble for sure. Uh, we also have some Cossack units right over here. And on the lower right-hand side, we can change our formation. I was thinking of actually going into skirmish since we're being flanked on both sides here. Um, but I'm thinking that maybe the best thing to do is get right up on the enemy. Here's what I will do. I'll take this unit. And I'll move them right up there. Hopefully we can start engaging the Jaegers. We're going to get plus one support for being next to a unit. And I can't tell if this game is real time or turn based or a bit of a mix of the two. Um, there you go. So skirmish order versus infantry, the third Jaeger. Uh, I am going to commence the firing on them. And let's see if we can't deal with them. I'm going to push this unit up. And as you can see, our men are going to begin to fire on the Jaegers right away. They're going right in, man. I hope that our men can hold because we need to focus on the cavalry over here. And in fact, I'm going to get into a square formation with that unit, hopefully in time to deal with the enemy. Oh, we didn't form in time, as you can see. I tried, but it didn't quite form in time. Nonetheless, the battle continues. I want to go right in for the attack here, and it looks like our men are doing just that. Um, as you can see, there are also perks. So we can get um, impetus, which gives our unit high morale easier. Um, there are also unit perks such as slow gun loading, good skirmishers. These are perks earned through campaign battles. Um, so these guys are doing the best they can. And there we go. Once again, firing on the cavalry. Not enough time to reform, unfortunately. That cavalry will be the death of us. Of course, these units are already in the square formation. And we're winning the battle just barely, though. I love also how in these games you see the bodies stacked up. That's always a nice touch. And let me get into a more normal line formation. Same over here. Let's get back to the line. I believe we also might have another unit that we haven't spotted. We do, guys. We've got that battery. And he's just firing away at the enemy fort. So I'm going to try and select our units and make our way there. And hopefully we can take this unit out, this horse artillery out. Let's push forward. Lost a lot of good men today. And once again, the horse artillery is right there. Shall we just go in for a straight charge or shall we continue to fire? I think we're going to pepper them with shot. 
and we'll actually move into their location because we've got a unit here and he should be able to spot the rest of them as they retreat but there we go we've taken one location here guys and what do you think we have to do we want to hold this location of course and we can simply alt and turn to turn the unit um over here i'm going to do the same i'm not sure why they didn't form into a line let's get them back into that line and let's use these units against oh no no now we're going to need to get back into a square and it takes them a while to reform the cavalry decided to move into our location not what we were looking for but so far we're getting good shots on the artillery and again they just couldn't get there in time and i'm more concerned with the enemy cavalry right now so i'm going to turn the unit it looks like we also got some additional forces guys look at that the 10th or the 106th line and the 44th line i want to see if we can get them here before the rest of our boys are turned into mincemeat and i'm going to put this unit in just a nice square formation we're going to turn towards the enemy artillery and we'll be attacking them from two locations gotta love that here we go it begins let them have it boys oh they are going straight for us and our own men are retreating back to the line i'm going to get into a square just because i know the enemy is going to try and go for a frontal assault and let's go ahead and charge the artillery let's get him out of here i hope that with the square formation we're at least going to be safe here i like that there's a time limit on the battles too it really forces you to make decisions quickly There we go. Are they going to charge our square? Not quite yet. I think that's going to be it for these men here. Let's take the 108th line and we're going to do a charge. Got some fresh troops, it looks like. And let's push up with this unit. No retreat, boys. No retreat at all. I love these other um, things that pop up above the, uh, the um, enemy unit or our own unit. And it's just letting us know what's been happening to the unit. So whether it, whether it has solid protection or not, whether it's taken casualties or not, uh, whether the troops are fresh. I just think that's such a nice touch in games like this. Now, I don't see any additional enemies, so I'm going to move this unit over here i probably should have moved the 44th into that space but our goal right now is simply to hold this fort if we can hold the fort we're off to a good start once again another unit did not expect them to arrive so quickly but it is a cavalry unit chaussels a cheval and hopefully we can use them to run the enemy down but as you can see they just got reinforcements and that's something you're going to notice in this game is things will change on the fly and i really like that because quite often during these napoleonic times um you didn't always know when the enemy was going to attack or when they were going to arrive on the field Oh, I should have taken the woods. I should have taken the woods. Uh, I'll simply put that unit in a square formation just awaiting the enemy. The Chasseurs, having won that charge, have fallen back, and we want to keep on pushing them forward. But we'll keep our eyes on the Isium Hussars. However, I believe we've held our position so far. Shouldn't praise the day just yet. We've got Musketeers over here. Actually, I'd love to move into the woods. So far, so good, guys. I'm going to keep on charging, though. So I'll move my cavalry into the woods. Everybody else is, of course, in that square formation to keep the Hussars uh, as far away from us as possible. But we need to turn this unit towards the enemy if we want to fire. And I'm not going to be going for a charge just yet. Although I do want to switch to a line formation. And again, those formations are huge in this game, something that during this time makes perfect sense. Enemy's going to be charging that location. I think we can get the 18th light back into a standard line formation here and hopefully provide some fire against the Musketeers. They are the enemy's last chance at taking the field. Maybe not if the Hussars go for a charge. Damn, we might need to get back into a square. I think we need to just to be safe. 
but we'll keep the fire up against the musketeers it looks like we're doing damn well and that's going to lead to a major victory our first major victory here in the game i love it now there's going to be um another battle afterwards which is going to be chernobyl uh where davu um is going to be attacking the enemy of course i love it so there's an entire campaign list and it is damn huge like it's quite a lengthy list i really want to keep on playing these battles so if you enjoyed that first one and you want to see more um absolutely hit that like button subscribe to our channel and leave us a comment as to what you think about this new napoleonic game we just did a video on top three napoleonic war games make sure to check that out i wish i had seen this one before i made that video who knows what, what may have happened thanks so much guys take care and i'll see you in the next battle and i do hope it's soon